happy Saturday to you, whatever you may be watching me from. Straight to the point that you don't really want to take much of your time because this morning world nobody have time again. So therefore, <laughs> let's go straight to the point. Check in to call right here. This video I'm going to talking about Ram Fortosse and Black Queen's coach and their match yesterday, and I'll be finishing with you Ghana Premier League. So we're going to start from Ram Fortosse. I knew that most of you that are football fans out there know who is Ram Fortosse. Maybe if you do not know who is Ram Fortosse, Ram Fortosse is former um, Ghana under 17 player, under 20, even Black Stars player. And he was part of the 2009 uh, under 20 African Cup of Nations Rwanda winner. And they won the tournament there. And he was also part of the under 20 World Cup winner back at Egypt 2009. And he came out to spoke about a lot of things spoke about um, paying money, was expecting to be called for the World Cup in South Africa. That didn't happen. And he was also a captain. And when they told him that he had to leave the captain, the real captain is coming and all so on and so on, which we're going to talk about right here. But before you to able to get the clear idea here about what I'm about to talk, I think I would love for us to listen to some of his, um, the voice, the things that he actually spoke about a little bit so that we can able to get a clear idea here um, to address it very well for you to understand what I really want to talk about. So let's listen to Ron for Dose, then we continue our topic today. Ah, So, you just listen to Ron for say in now in Ghana now we do not need people that will come out with problem we need people that will come out with solution there is a whole lot to deal in Ghana when you're talking about black stars when you're talking about the whole lot of things so we need people that will bring solution to the country. We need people that will bring solution to the national team. We do not need people now. As now Ghana is now, everywhere is hot. Everywhere is hot. Black stars have their own issue to deal with. So we need people that will bring, will bring a solution that will solve the problem that we are facing. Coming out, bringing with all those kind of things, it's going to create a lot of problems. It's going to create a lot of confusion, even going back to the team. Andrea, you are still there. It's going to create a lot of confusion. People are going to raise a lot of things. We don't want those things again. That is the reason why this is not necessarily to talk about uh, Ram Photo say. This is not necessary to talk about. That is my personal opinion. We need people that will bring solution for the country, solution for Black Stars problem now. That is what we need. Now, let's move to the second um, what he was talking about. The second he spoke about, I did not play that voice here, but I believe that um, you get some of the voice out there. Um, the second thing he spoke about, when you listen to him very clearly, he said that money was given to that man for appreciation. So when you give money to someone for appreciation, why you the same person coming out to excuse that to excuse that person or so or how I don't know how to put it to um, like attacking that person or you are uh, uh, coming out to 
talking about you giving money and you are expecting call up or something like that that is what they give it to prince table are you not contradicting yourself when you say you give money to someone as appreciation why you have to come out to talk about and if you come if you you already came out so, uh, spoke about it what 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 is wh why you have to come out to talk about it my policy here is if you really want do not want those things to be happening in Ghana football i'm asking the players why sometimes when you are playing and those things are happening why why don't you talk so that we can find a solution for the problems you see coaches they will be facing a lot of challenges they will, when they interview them they ask them they will always oh no one is putting pressure on me no one is doing this no one is doing it then you knew clearly that you are facing a lot of challenges with some of the leaders with this with that but you always keep that silent but when things doesn't go well for you now you are not coming out to be telling Ghanaians about what is going in there before what are the people going to do when do things already spoil so i'm asking the players and the coaches why sometimes when you are in there and a lot of issues are going on why don't you talk about it because you was also benefiting something in there and after now that benefit is finished and now you fail not to get that again that is where you want to come out say you want to expose leaders or you want to talk about them i don't think we need this to my personal opinion as a true real Ghanaian and you really want Ghana better and you really want black stars better if you are there and some things are going on and you knew that this is not helping the country to move on this is not helping the national team to move on expose the people when you are there so that they can suck those people there and bring the white the right people in but do not wait till all those things mess up then now when you know that you have failed to live up to your petition and now you want to come out to put problem that this person was this and this person was that what does those things like i don't get it guys i don't know if you get this clear if you come out for me sitting down here um i come out and i give you money telling you that this money is appreciation for this and that later on coming into your life telling you that i was expecting you to fix me this place so why don't you tell me that you are giving me this money simply because this one so for me i think the main reason why i'm talking about this blasters there's a lot of problem Ghanaians are having headache in their own problem before blasters problem so we need people that will bring solution to the problem we do not need people that bring in more problem to what we already have so i feel like things like this we should not even pay attention to things like this so much because it's not bringing nothing it's not bringing any nothing to us it's not solving any problem in black stars in the country that is my personal opinion when you uh, run for uh run for the say talking about all the whole issue, issues where were you by then and why now everybody welcome appreciation if i'm sitting down here and i did something for someone and from nowhere the person came to me and say or come to me and say well i have this for you appreciation based on what you did for me and for me i have that and later on you coming out it is like you are trying to even this man can sue him to court because it is like you are you are trying to tarnish the person image with it is not fair because you yourself you said it that it is worth appreciation so if it is was appreciation why are you coming out to give education for the person he can sue you to court because you are tarnishing the person image my personal now let's move to black queens yesterday black queens the one they are their game against Namibia yesterday by three goes to one so congratulations to all the management team in particular and the coach she is doing a great job uh, even a lot of people are beginning to suggest that if that is the case we should hand the national team to her she can manage the national team and a lot of people are also you know no matter what something 
you always see people everybody can never be the same so other some people are also saying that well the blast me team so far they have never met any tough opponent out there that is why they, they keep winning games i'm asking why can't you guys clap for someone that doing a great job for the model lab this coach she's doing a great job since this um coach took over black queens they do not lost a game i do not even think they drew they 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 they, are, they they draw a game out there talking about losing a game no i do not get it clear how many matches she played so far but what i, I know very well that she have never lost a game since taking over for the black queens so why can't you guys clap for this woman are doing a great job for the motherland and the black queens why are we going around talking about oh they have never met if you think that every team is easy to beat why black black stars are not beating comoros why black stars have to wait for 96 minutes to get a one go against comoros in kumasi why black stars lost in the games to mexico to why black stars lost in to uh united states four goals do you want to tell me that blasters if they are doing good why they don't beat if, if every team are so so easy to to beat like you think that black queens they are beating um easy opponent why they are not why blasters are not beating uh, 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 comoros and madagascar easy so this coach deserves some credit she she's doing a great job for the motherland which we need to really appreciate the job that she's doing when was the last time since i sat following football some of us were following football not today we're following football not today and we are not just coming out here to record videos simply because just want to record videos for you to watch but some of us we have we've been so passionate about football me are sitting down here uh, falling black stars team and black queens is not today it's not today many years ago back 90s coming to 2000 coming to 2000 i'm falling black stars from 90s coming to 2000 coming when there is nothing like a social media we are passionate about football and we will come long way so why can't i've never why i'm talking about it i've never seen any coach that took the black queens team winning games like this except this coach because i fully black queens and black stars not today so we should appreciate the good job black star queen uh, 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 the, the, the black queens coach are doing out there she's doing a great job so congratulations to them once again um for their big win against Namibia um right there yesterday um yesterday friday and now let's finish with a ghana premier league a very quick one ghana premier league that is no match today saturday so tomorrow ghana premier league Accra Lion gonna play against Nation. All the matches is 3 3 3 p.m. Ghana time. And Adriana Stars gonna play against Haas. And Babiano Go Stars gonna play against Oswatumai. And Buffo Quatano gonna play against Samates. And Karela United gonna play against Bechim United. And Monday, on Monday, Great Olympics will play against Leguan City. And uh, Santo Cotoco will play against Brecum Chelsea. Yes, that is the Ghana Premier League matches um, for you tomorrow and Monday. So thank you so much for always watching and winning the Unity Platform and one love. Mm -hmm.